Today we're in Manchester, Manchester, New Hampshire, and we're at the Aviation Museum of New Hampshire, and with me right now is Don Barassa, who's going to be showing us around in just a minute. How are you doing, Don? I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, could you talk a little bit about the history of the Historic Society, first of all? The New Hampshire Aviation Historical Society was founded in 1995. Uh, this building that we're in, the museum, is actually airport property, but the Historical Society people run it for the airport. Okay. How did you get involved in this? Uh, I've always had an interest in aviation, uh, and uh, one of the vice presidents at Wiggins Aviation uh, is a board member here. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to him one day over there, and he invited me to join, and I did. And then somebody uh, said, do you want to do this? And I said, yes, I do. And I said, do, and then I said, do what? <laughs> And uh, actually, it's been a good, it's been a great job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all volunteers here. And talk a little bit about the museum itself and what we're going to be seeing today. The museum depicts a lot of the World War II era. That's when we, that was our main focus when we opened. And we, in New Hampshire, are very fortunate that because we had several aviators that distinguished themselves during World War II. Mm -hmm. And I'll introduce you to a display of them as we go around. Okay. okay? All right. And what other things we'll be looking at today? We have a complete display of the New Hampshire Air National Guard. Uh, we had a KC-135 in here last summer, and they come in with a flight crew of three and a ground crew of four. And I want to tell you, we're very fortunate to have them. These guys are golden. All right, let's do it. All right, Don, give us a little explanation as to this building. It has a lot of history in itself. This building was actually built in 1937, and it was the second terminal building at the Manchester Airport. It was in 2004, we moved it from where the original site was. This actually was built about a mile north of here. And then in, in 04, we moved it down here. It took about a year and a half to get it ready, six and a half hours to move it across two active runways and it took about a year and a half to get it ready for us to, to move into. What did you have to do to fix it up? Well, they did, they did the whole interior. Yeah. The whole interior is new. They, they cleaned it up and put tile down, put a basement under it because when it was built up at the north end, it was, did not have a basement in it. So now we use that for archives and office space. I see you have a plane up there. That airplane, yeah, that was built by uh, one of our uh, our volunteers, and actually it was signed by Charles Lindbergh's grandson. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. wow, I'm glad I Eric, Eric, Eric Lindbergh, yeah. Over here is that KC-135. It holds 210,000 pounds of fuel. That's about 32,000 gallons. It can offload 1,000 gallons a minute if they have to. They don't always do that much. <laughs> so that's about 6,500 pounds. So here's where the the uh, problems come in. The tanker is losing 6,500 pounds. The receiving airplane is gaining 6,500 pounds. So both pilots have to be playing with the throttles to do it. Now, this airplane has 11 fuel tanks. <clears throat> you can offload from any of them. Most of the offloading is done from this main tank here. And then it's refilled by these wing tanks. These wing tanks also feed their own engines. All right. So like I say, they can offload up to 1,000 gallons a minute. Sometimes if you get a smaller airplane, they're hooked up for three to five minutes. But you get the real large cargo planes coming out of Dover, Delaware, for example, they could be hooked up for 25 minutes. At about 20,000 feet, throughout turbulence, and these guys are good. To talk to any of them, they say, oh, it's no big deal. Well, it is a big deal. And these guys are really, really good, and I'll tell you, we had seven of them in here last spring, three flight crews and four ground crews, and every one of them to a man loved their job. Yeah. These guys were golden. You're watching Around Town with Larry Seaman. On today's show, we visit the Aviation Museum of New Hampshire. 